puzzled neighbors are on Facebook and on Twitter. They're wondering, what's with the X marks that have been left on street curbs? Residents of at least two Northside neighborhoods report seeing more and more of these things. So we sent out our Jesse DeGoyalo to check it out. If X marks the spot, then why here? Why are there small red X's scattered here and there along curbs and sidewalks? Even X's that were apparently cut into fresh cement, then colored blue. Our intelligence unit is looking into it. Uh, our North Property Crimes Unit is looking into it. And we also have our patrol officers in the area are well aware of the situation. So are they a way of alerting burglars? Who's home and who's not? It doesn't appear that there's anything sinister going on. Still, police aren't ruling anything out. Maybe they're markings for underground utilities. That is one of the uh, prevailing theories that we're looking into that it could be. Yet SAWS, CPS Energy, Public Works, and Solid Waste Management tell us they don't use markings like this. You know, I never noticed that happened to now. Olivia Guzman, who has a red X in front of her house, agrees given where her utilities are located. No, they're over here. That's the phone, um, AT&T, right there. Then why are they here? I would like to know why somebody will mark the front of my house. Now, SAPD tells me that this is not against the law, but it is trying to confirm whether a company was going to was going door to door and then left these X's in front of houses that perhaps weren't interested in what they were trying to sell. Now, they also will be looking into whether the red X's and the blue X's are somehow connected. I've had people calling me saying they go out to their mailbox and they find a little red dot or a little blue dot on their mailbox and they wonder what the little red dot and blue dot is. Well, it's marking your mailbox by the government so when foreign troops come in here on us after martial law, if you have a red dot on your mailbox, they take you out immediately and shoot you right in the head. But if you have a blue dot, they take you to the FEMA camps being built by Halliburton right now. A little bit of mud isn't stopping the construction of a FEMA dome in Lumberton. Crews began the work in April. Towering more than 50 feet above the ground, this 25,000 square foot building being built between Lumberton Intermediate School and Lumberton High School is the first of its kind in Southeast Texas. It's a disaster dome, able to withstand 200 mile an hour winds. It will allow first responders and people who are unable to evacuate to a safe location to safely ride out storms. Lumberton ISD is one of the school districts that is used as a command center, and this will be kind of used as our command center in the event of an emergency. The multi-million dollar project is part of the Texas Safe Shelter Initiative and is being funded primarily by FEMA grants 